Are you looking to connect your Roland FP10 keyboard to your Mac? Well, then this video is for you. And today, we're doing that without cables. We're gonna go over Bluetooth. Now, there's a number of reasons that you might want to connect a keyboard to your computer over MIDI. Things like being able to connect to your favorite digital audio workstation, things like Logic, Pro Tools, or Ableton Live, being able to record directly into those applications from your keyboard. Also connecting to your favorite piano app or to piano learning apps like Playground Sessions. That's where I started, and I had a really tough time figuring out how to connect the two over Bluetooth, hence this video, so that I can share it with you and make it even easier. That's the great thing about the Roland FP10. It's an entry-level keyboard that still supports Bluetooth. And Bluetooth can be especially handy because it reduces cable clutter and provides flexibility. We can move the keyboard, we can move the computer to lots of different spots, not having to worry about any cables to trip over or to have to reorganize and that sort of a thing. So we're gonna do this in two steps. First, we'll prepare the keyboard. And then second, we're going to connect it to Mac OS. So let's dive in and get started. Okay, so in step one, we're going to prepare the keyboard. As we turn it on, we confirm that our model supports Bluetooth. It shows that it does with three quick blinks of the function button. Now the FP10 gives a ton of value for the money and is a great playing keyboard. Its Bluetooth indicators are pretty limited though compared to the more expensive models. The pricier options have really nice displays and or dedicated buttons that show when Bluetooth is ready and connected. The FP10 is missing some of those niceties. We make sure Bluetooth is turned on by pressing the function button and holding that down and pressing the fifth black key from the right. One, two, three, four, five. Pressing those two together ensures that Bluetooth is enabled and ready to pair. It should come turned on out of the box, but pressing this for the first time confirms that it's ready. Okay, now this is where it's different if you've never connected a MIDI keyboard over Bluetooth before and where I got confused in my first time. Most other Bluetooth peripherals, like a mouse or headphones, the button puts it in pairing mode for a minute or two and it appears in the available to pair list on nearby devices. It's usually accompanied by a blinking lights on the device. The Roland FP10 though is always available to pair, so there's no blinking lights or other special pairing modes to turn on. Let's move to step two, connecting from the Mac. I'm using a Mac with Catalina installed, and the good news is that Macs have supported MIDI over Bluetooth for a long time, so pretty much any version of Mac OS that you have should work with the same steps. Now, I like to use keyboard shortcuts, so we'll start with Command Spacebar, and we'll type Audio MIDI Setup. Now, if you don't want to use the keyboard shortcut, you can go to your Applications Utilities folder and launch the application from there. I'll press Enter to launch it. And once it's open, I'll need to go to Window, Show MIDI Studio for additional options. Okay, so once MIDI Studio is open, we can click the Bluetooth icon, and your FP10 should automatically show up in this window as your Mac scans for available MIDI devices within range. And since the Mac is sitting right next to the keyboard in this case, it sees it right away. And I can go ahead and click Connect. That's it. We're connected to the keyboard. We can go ahead and close the windows. And once the Bluetooth is connected, the function button on the keyboard lights up and stays solid. Once connected for the first time, you can quickly run through the steps each time you need to start things up again. You can turn on the keyboard, go to Audio MIDI Setup, select Show MIDI Studio, click the Bluetooth icon, and connect. So that's it. Our Roland FP10 is now regularly connected to our computer, and we're ready to play. Uh... 